good day everyone in this video we are going to see the working principle of a tank scope why a tank scope is used what a tank scope can do what an explosive meter cannot do now i have made earlier videos on uh, explosive meter oxygen analyzer and dragger tubes gas detection system please watch those videos also so we have a better understanding now let's uh, first uh, read through the theory of this tank scope okay explosive meter let's first revise the explosive meter when an explosive meter is used an explosive meter is used when we want to make a tank entry when we want to in enter into an enclosed space and it measures what gases in a non inert atmosphere why because there's an explosion or a small combustion taking place inside for that you need oxygen so when there is oxygen only then only the explosive meter can work but a tank scope work can work when there is no oxygen also inside the tank space because there is no combustion taking place inside this tank scope so a thermal loss meter or a non combustible gas indicator is a device used for measurement of hydrocarbon gas content in a sample of given atmosphere the instrument is meant for measuring the hydrocarbon vapors in inerted atmospheres that means you can use this tank scope when the oxygen inside the space is less than 8% also or even less or whatever is the amount of oxygen does not matter now this instrument is not as sensitive as the explosive meter the reading is only in percentage of the volume of the hydrocarbon vapor and hence used only during the gassing up operations and during inerting should not be used for man entry this is purely meant for measuring the volume of the hydrocarbon vapors present inside any enclosed space and hence it is not meant for measuring during a man entry during a man entry you have to use an explosive meter but nowadays you have equipment which have combined tank scope and explosive meter so those are also provided to you on board the ships also so now we will see the working principle we are now going to see the working principle of this tank scope now this also works on the principle of an wheatstone bridge okay we will see that it works on the same principle as that of an explosive meter except that the gas does not burn inside the sample chamber there is alteration cooling in the temperature of the heated filament which enhances the change in the resistance the thermal loss meter is somewhat similar to the explosive meter but the measurement system is quite contrary in the thermal loss instrument we are measuring the cooling of the wire while in the explosive meter combustion of petroleum gas increases the temperature of the filament thermal loss meters are used to detect the percentage volume of combustible petroleum gases in an atmosphere that is deficient in oxygen that is inerted cargo tanks so this is the wheatstone bridge r1 r2 four resistances r3 and r4 when r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 no current will be passing so in this galvanometer there won't be any reading this galvanometer shows us the reading of the hydrocarbons now in the tank scope this in a explosive meter this is a combustion chamber in a tank scope we don't have this combustion chamber so we will remove this combustion chamber from here this is a non catalytic sensitive filament when the hydrocarbon gas passes through this filament the thermal loss happens and that is measured on this galvanometer as percentage of so we had a small disturbance here okay so r1 by r2 is not equal to r3 by r4 because on the r3 there is a sensitive filament which is non catalytic which is placed when the hydrocarbon gases passes through this that will change the resistance and that will be measured on the galvanometer so this is the working principle and the use of a tank scope i hope all of you have understood this if you have any questions or any doubts please put it in the comment box i'll try to reply to all your doubts 
Also, if you like this video, please share the video with your friends and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.